we tell you a story about when me and my brother climbed a barbed wire fence. As well as a bunch more funny, weird, and interesting things. So let's get into it! Would you guys ever get a tattoo? No. Never. Never? Not even like a tiny one? No, no I, I don't like tattoos. I would get tattoos because tattoos are sick. See, I don't want to be like disappointing, but I feel like some tattoos are kind of cute. They have to have like a very meaningful thing to me. I don't want to get like a tiny one. Oh I just can't get over the fact, I just can never get over the fact like a tattoo will be on your body forever. Yeah. Like I actually don't think tattoos look bad on other people, but for me personally, I have the same thing on me forever no matter what I try and do to get it off. Oh, I can't, I can't do that. Some people can get them covered if you don't like the meaning anymore, but I think... Yeah. No, it's like, it is, don't get in the first place. Yeah. Like, obviously not gonna go and tell people never to get tattoos, but me personally, I would never get one. Mm. Me personally, I would have to think about it for a really, really long time, but I don't mind, like, the tiny little mini ones, like, that people have on their, like, ankles and stuff like that. And I probably would, I guess, get one like that, maybe when I'm older. Really? Maybe, but it'd have to have a really special meaning to me. I wouldn't, I would never ever get like a tattoo of someone that I'm dating because like if I break up with them or something, oh. not even my wife or anything. Yeah. Like, if you break up with them, it's just a like full on like nightmare. And, like, like I just, you might, just get their initials, but it's just like other, but you get But, but what would you think if mum and papa got their faces on each other? Because they're like very, very not. close. But no, mum and papa have no tattoos and neither do both of our grandparents. Yeah, that's right. I think it's real. Would you ever get a tattoo and if you no, did, what type? Never. Never, ever, ever. Oh, actually, yeah, I, I will get a tattoo, actually. Oh, I'll, I'll get a tattoo, like, I don't know, something behind my ear or something. Yes, but why? I'd probably get an ear one. An ear tattoo? You know, like, behind your ear? Just something very, like, subtle. But why, if it's so subtle, then why need it? Why do you want it? I feel, I feel like, oh, well, I might just use fake ones. Yeah, I feel like if you're doing it that subtle, just use a fake one, at least it comes off then. Yeah. I think I would use fake ones. I don't think I could ever, oh good. I don't think I could ever make the like, commitment of having one though on me forever. So maybe I would get like just little temporary ones and just switch them up. Cause I'm a very like, not very indecisive, but I really do like changing up what I do. Or, like, like I said, like even with just little things like aesthetics, like I kind of, I change myself up a lot. A lot. I don't yeah. know, just cause I'm younger. But um, I don't think I could like stick with the same thing for a while unless it was like really, really, really special to me. That's so true. Yeah, but like it's like with nails, nails. Like you might like your nail like suddenly, like maybe like a lime green one because it might go well with like I don't know an outfit you're gonna pair it up with. But like later on, it's just not gonna be good. I do agree with that actually. Yeah, it's gonna be annoying and it's like really gonna be irritating. It's like a gaming setup. If I just got like a red my mouse, mm. red keyboard, red monitor, like eventually I'm not gonna like red anymore. So then like so everything's true. terrible, you know what I mean? It's yeah. more just like don't bind yourself to only one look or only one option. Give yourself like multiple. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, but I, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I think I would probably like just have temporary ones. Tell so you what doesn't make sense to me. What? Permanent jewelry. Mm. I love permanent jewelry. I want it for my birthday. What? what? So what? Of it is so it doesn't fall off, and because I think a lot of the time it's waterproof. What? This permanent jewelry? What? Well, what do you mean? I would love to have permanent jewelry, and like obviously you can just get them clipped off. Makes no like, sense. Wait, what is this? So like a permanent ring, stuff, but like or like a necklace, a but it's like ring. no, it's kind of like a necklace or a bangle, but it doesn't have the backing to clip it off. What? I even you not sleep with necklaces on. I feel I'm sure like. they've got it like all figured out. Nah, uh, yeah. that's no, but you can take you can take them off. But like once you take them off, it's kind of like it's just gone. It's like if you take off nail polish, it's kind of just gone. You have to do it all again. Yeah, that, makes sense. that makes zero sense. That, nah, I reckon tattoos better than temporary jewelry. Oh, yeah. Permanent jewelry, Saki. That's the point of it. I'm oh, sorry, permanent like. It's like, you know when like a ring gets stuck to your finger and you just really want to get it off? Like, there's I don't think they do rings. I think it's more of a like bracelets be. What? Take like super glued on or something? I don't get what, like who yeah, invented it? Like, you know like on necklaces, I'll show you. They, they normally here. have the clip here. Is I think on permanent jewelry, I think on permanent jewelry, ju I can't say jewelry, ju jewelry. I don't think they have the, that clip thing, so you can't take it off. Who the heck? So basically, oh, it's just like a bracelet or something like that that you cannot take off. Yes. Okay. Which is it's stupid. So and stupid. so actually, that's so dumb. And hear me out, you can take it off. You can take it off, but like it's not stuck on you forever. You can take it off Bridget, literally like- You yes. can take it off. Yes. Nah, you can probably just clip it off with some scissors or pliers, but like, the, it's just like pliers. Yeah, you can also do that. But it can last forever if you want it to. And if it's something special, 
I feel like I would get that. Because I could just like special. I just don't understand what the point is of everything. Because like, what if you just get sick of it one day? You just take it off, Sabre. Is that what you just said? You can't! You go to the shop again and just hang it off. The thing is, I feel like that's a waste of money. Of course it is. It's a waste of money and a waste of time. It's a waste of everything. It, it, it doesn't make sense, but I feel like jewelry that can be taken off of a clasp is perfectly fine. Yeah, I agree. But I guess it's the same thing as lash extensions. Like, you can wear false lashes, but like... Well, I get lash extensions. I think... Yeah, I actually do get lash extensions. Well, bra bracelets are hard Having to Having lashes on, you just feel like they're going to fall out the whole time. Do you agree with Biggie, me, and Socky, or do you agree with Naz? I feel like it's not like that deep. I don't think it's mega popular, but I feel like it's just like I th I get people that do it. I don't it can't be mega popular. If it was mega popular, then like my favorite. No, it's like it's popular. Like there's a fair few shops that do it. I feel like I feel like it makes sense. It definitely makes. Sense. Actually, do if you do understand it, please comment in the comments. What is like? What is the main reason why people get um? Like, are they worried they're gonna lose it? Is that the re? I'm not permanent jury. Like, it doesn't mean like you're any less of a person, or like I think any less of you. you is this something that I wouldn't personally? No, of course not. I just, of course not. I just would exactly. never ever do it. It's not gonna change my opinion yeah. that I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think everyone's more saying that they wouldn't do it, not like they don't agree with like people that get it. If that makes sense. No. I think it's great if you wear permanent jewelry, but personally, you wouldn't get it. I would do it. No. I would do it. No. But that's what's the next question. Lately, I've been trying to do like a, the, you know, I think we all know the clean girl aesthetic when like those girls that like a glowing or like, you know, that aesthetic. I'll pop up pictures of it now. And I wanted to know all you know, stats, what is your opinion about like the aesthetic and the vibes of it? Here we go. The I love it. I think it's like the world's best aesthetic. I, I really. I think it's, it's the like best like, aesthetic. I think it's the aesthetic which is like normal. The normal aesthetic where you just like you... It's not normal aesthetic. My thoughts on it. I am personally trying to wear less makeup just because I'm trying to like, you know, better myself in other ways. Um, I feel like clean girl makeup only suits girls who are like naturally gorgeous. Like clear skin, beautiful eyelashes, a really sharp jawline. But it's like it basically is a no makeup makeup look, I feel like. And I feel like it only suits girls who are naturally like. It, obviously, it's it's meant to be like suiting everyone, but I feel like the clean girl aesthetic. I don't really like because I feel like it's mainly just girls who are like naturally pretty, and the reason why the makeup looks really good in them is because they're naturally pretty. I feel like there's a lot. Of, I don't feel like you need to be naturally pretty to suit a makeup look. No, it's just like. But I feel like you need to like. For me personally, I don't feel like I suit a super clean natural makeup look because. I think clean girl makeup or makeup that's like not really makeup or more just like maybe touching up your face suits everyone because it's kind of meant to suit everyone. It's just meant to show off how you look like. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, I think it's like obviously. It's not, like, me it's not meant to be like a makeup look. It's meant to just be like, I, I am pretty, yeah, so yeah. this is just like you're meant to look, everyone's meant to look beautiful in it. Yeah. I feel like if you wear clean girl makeup look, like good on, good on you for like, you know. Like, liking that aesthetic. I guess I feel like for me, if I'm gonna put on makeup, I'm gonna go all the way, which I guess isn't like something that I wanna like promote to people, but it's just like, it's a personal thing. Yeah. And I'm trying to learn not to do that, so I feel like people who do wear clean girl makeup look and who do feel confident in it, like that's really, really good. That you feel like really good in minimal makeup. And that's like something that I'm trying to um, improve myself. Yeah, good job. That's good. I feel like, um, I was just about to say, I feel like too though, Obviously, like the prettiest girls in the world are gonna look good, like with no matter what makeup they look. And then, like, you know, I feel like it's I feel like I get what you're saying, but I feel like clean girl just depends. Like any makeup look depends on just how you look, and it doesn't matter how you yeah. look. But, but I feel like makeup is makeup. But I just hope you know that you're really, really beautiful in your own skin, and you can wear as much makeup as you want, obviously, and like as little makeup as you want. But you're just really pretty on the inside and you and the outside, and you don't need to worry about. How you look. Looks aren't everything. And I feel like, you know, you just, I just want, this is your reminder that you're really beautiful and you don't need to change your appearance or anything like that to fit the beauty standards. Beauty standards is just someone's opinion. Always remember yeah, that. Like, it's, it's not, so it's true. not, it's it's just like beauty, you should think it's, I think of like beauty standards is just like what you, what you, I think is good. And like, yeah, you know, awesome. it's just all about preference. Not like, it's just, you know, it's obviously just the opinions of everyone else. It's just, um, if you could go to any country, where would you go to? Oh, can I start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would go to the Mentawis. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. Is that a country? I don't know. I'll go to the town, it's like a good surf, or Fiji and go to one of those like surf camps. Yeah. They're like really nice resort with like great surf out the front and I'll just be surfing all day, basically every wow. day. It'll be really fun. How about you guys? I would go to Japan because mum's always said Japan is really good and I love like how different it is to Australia because like America and stuff like that is pretty similar to Australia. Yeah. But um, I feel like I would love to go to Japan and I feel like I always hear that the people there are really, really lovely and like that the, I think the food's really good and it's just yeah. so different to what we have now. Yeah. And at, when we, we went to Singapore and I really like just like... Um, how the food was amazing there, oh, but I like the idea of just like being able to like even eat with chopsticks and just like the little things like that Like they, I think it's really cool like how it's so different. I'll definitely go to Japan um, I would love to, I'll die to go to New Zealand New Zealand? Oh, what is that? The hikes there oh. it, just, it would be phenomenal. I would love to go to Dubai because I feel like it's so different and there's a lot of amazing hotels there I feel like it's kind of like Las Vegas, but like it's a country But they've got like a really cool like um and lots of youtubers do go there to film Which I feel like if we go there we could film like a lot of great videos. Water parks look amazing there I don't even like water parks but they look so great. And also what I've heard is like everything's just better in Dubai like the better better roller coasters Better yeah. everything, better buildings. It's just like it sounds so good. I ah! just got no idea how to get that out. We climbed the barbed wire fence, but how did it happen? Take it away. So at the time, Biggie was probably seven, and I was probably five. Mina's had this very special teddy. Like when we were all kids, we all had this very special teddy. Meow meow. Special to us. No. <laughs> no. 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 And what the name is meow meow? Name is meow meow. Yes, that's right. Like, the name of this very special teddy is. Come out. You would have seen it in a few vlogs if you're a super legend. Oh wait! Yeah, yeah that's right. We actually have the Norris Nuss pajamas of Meow Meow. Wait, do you actually have Meow Meow? This is Meow Meow. So basically, that was Meow Meow. A little teddy, little scruffy. <laughs> <laughs> basically, just a little scruffy teddy. And so he flushed it down the toilet once. So basically, basically, Socky. So Meow's been through a lot with us. She's been flushed down the toilet by Socky. Yeah, that's me, guys. I just literally stick my hand through the toilet water to get her out. Anyway, okay, anyways, Meow Meow, I was eating pasta once, and Nancy like literally made <laughs> Meow Meow swim in the pasta. And then <laughs> what else? Yeah. Everything with us. She literally. Oh, she had a head ripped off. I say what? Oh, and so yeah, back exactly. together. She ripped off the head, and we had to sew back together. Anyways, anyways, Meow Meow was like the goat. She was literally like. Meow Meow Meow. meow, meow. meow. So Biggie climbed a barbed wire fence when he was six years old for this thing. So basically, um, and like just so, like before Biggie explains the story, it wasn't a small barbed wire fence. It was like a proper Crazy. barbed wire fence because when this happened, it was like in an in industrial estate, so like proper fences. Yeah. Anyways. Also, please get your drip today. And there is a shot. We have some fire drip. Drip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So basically, here, here's the thing. Ready? Barbed wire fence. That's the barbed wire fence. Barbed wire fence. Shed, which is the neighbor's shed up here. Ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> meow meow. Meow meow's up here. This is meow meow. Meow meow's a little cat here. So that's meow meow. On the ramp that's first. a shed. That's the barbed wire fence. And this ramp? is the skate ramp. Me and Naz were skating on. We're very happy kids. We're like happy lads. <laughs> we're skating. So basically, when people dropped in on this side with their skateboard, they will go down and throw meow meow into the air. Putting her all the way over here. <laughs> but and she wasn't meant to land on the barbed wire fence, but she accidentally Yeah, did. she accidentally did. So, the wind. so then basically, here's the roof, right? Here's the shed. Meow Meow was chilling up on the shed. She was really scared. No one could help her barbed wire fence right here. <laughs> Me and Naz, we were shocked. Scared. We were very shocked. We were very scared. We were like, how are we going to get Meow Meow back? Because it was a really high fence. Very like, high. Very I see Meow Meow here. So I climbed up the fence. Wow. Literally went over all the barbed wires right here. Yeah. Which like, probably could have like skewered me up. Like some bocconcini and, and somehow like, shoot up. To make it make more sense, you also had skate pads on. Yeah. So basically here I was. So basically here I was. On the barbed wire fence. Standing at the very top, Naz was in shock. She was very scared. Meow Meow was here. <laughs> so basically here, I was standing at the very top. Naz was shocked. She was like very oh, shocked. Oh. This was Meow Meow. She was like, had no idea what was going on because she's stuck with stuff. Anyways, I boinged over here, collected Meow Meow, took her back over here, oh and then God. me and Naz had a celebration dance because we got Meow Meow back. And we like went boasting to mom about it, and she was like, oh my. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Let us know what we should film next time. Catch me that goose.